Okay, so this is the second part of my pistol build uh, for my 92FS. So, as you can see, I've added the slide and uh, put the the top portion of the frame on. The slide does work. I've put a barrel in as well. As you can see, the slide isn't brilliant. There's still gaps in the slide. There's a huge one there. Uh, but that shouldn't be too noticeable once it's all been covered. Now I'll just pull back the slide for you. It's quite difficult to pull back, actually. Might have to find a way of loosening that, but... Okay. So that's as far as it pulls back. I'm tempted to uh, cut a slot in the top portion here of the frame so that you'll be able to uh, well you actually won't be able to look into the magwell uh, because it's not aligned unfortunately uh, but you would be able to look down into the frame and it would overall create a better effect I think but that's something to th for me to think about adding later I've still got to cover the back of the slide here add the trigger guard of course I don't think I'll add a trigger onto this one Maybe that's uh, something to think about for my next one. And of course, add the magazine. But overall, uh, this is essentially nearly finished. Uh, it surprised me how quickly it's taken me to finish it. Um, really, I'm, I'm, I am surprised that it's taken me this quick, uh, such a short amount of time. Because normally, with the layered weapons, it takes you, it can take you hours to, uh, you know, get it all to the right measurements and cut it all out of course because you've got to cut out so many layers of cardboard whereas with this you only have to cut out the outline of the frame twice as you can see you know cut some piece of cardboard to keep them together but that's it really and of course the piece for the slide and I used a cardboard tube just for the barrel so uh, before I leave this I'm just going to take the slide off for you taking the slide off is a little more difficult than putting it on uh, you lift the back up here See if I can. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to show you doing this. Uh, possible. Doing this on an iPod camera, so this is pretty difficult to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Just show you here. So. You pull the front up and push this forwards. Bring it up and slide just slides off the front there to leave the barrel exposed here and that's the slide overall. I say the hardest part of this was cutting the slit in the slide, that took a long time. Obviously the pieces on the side are gonna be quite fragile. But overall it's it was quite easy to do compared to layered weapons surprisingly you'd think it would be a lot easier just to stick a few layers of cardboard together but really this was uh, a lot easier I found so I'll definitely be using this method for I'd say most if not all of my props in the future that's just a little portion there to guide the slide back but really that's turned out even better than I expected really so thank you very much for watching and goodbye I'll uh, post another video once I've completed everything and uh, covered the gun entirely, so thank you very much.